Um, the scale was, has been a really amazing and really uh, interesting challenge. Um, originally, the idea was to paint directly on the wall of the gallery, which I've done a few times. And then obviously with the process of the construction and the complexity of the exhibition, it ended, I ended up having the option to paint on panels that would be um, used to construct the wall. So that was um, a, a great development, but did definitely present some amazing challenges. The source image that I'm referring to is um, a very classical tonal realist painting. So to have more time was great, but also meant that I could make a much more detailed painting, which that scale, I had to get on a ladder. I've never um, got on a ladder before to paint a painting. So it was, it actually was great because it loosened up um, my painting in a lot of ways. So, and I had to use big brushes and lots of paint and lots of my precious colours that I never used that much of. But yeah, so it was, it was a really different process for me working on that scale, definitely. Um, I am a bit of an internet trawler for images and it's a really non-democratic process. I just am kind of searching for images constantly. So I love the randomness of, of probably internet searches and how I come across images. So I think it was as crude as um, colonial paintings of colonial women or something, you know, really vague search um, requirements, something like that. So it was really un, um, um, academic <laughs> in that sense. But I, I suppose the symbolism of it as a colonial painting is what interests me in, in the reference of the idea of the show. And also it's that particular painting is very beautiful and detailed and has a particular um, decadence about it and, and that, that sort of um, contrast with nature, like how are those women with those massive dresses sitting in, in, in nature and just I think it, it's kind of beautiful and ridiculous at the same time and, and that sort of, um, and then it's quite grand as well, it had that feeling of, um, yeah, it just had the right sort of, um, sort of elegance about it I think. Um, I think when I when I initially had conversations with um, Lisa about the exhibition and I saw images of the Crystal Palace and they had these trees that were in, in the building uh, of the Crystal Palace, I think um, that does, I mean, that's like that thing of making a person or a life or a force a specimen and containing it. it and a really sort of... Um, popular culture references, there was an episode, I can't believe I'm saying this, there was an episode of The Simpsons where it's, oh, no, no, maybe it's, yeah, I think it is, it's one of those um, cartoons where there's a flash to the future and there's holographic trees um, and, you know, they're going in and out of um, working and that idea of something so, so precious and basic as a tree, that that could be kept back in that context of the Crystal Palace as a sort of a specimen in a building, trees aren't meant to live in buildings. And I think that it just grabbed a certain bit of imagination for me about, um, yeah, how we do put, as soon as we categorise something or position it or contain it, it does make it, I mean, I think the idea of the other is a really sort of broad term or broad concept, but that idea of um, putting something in a contained space that, that it's viewed at, and I think... Um, this sort of process has made me think about that or highlight how we we do that um, with people or with um, things that are outside of ourselves. 